boy Mikey step back, back in the building in the flesh. St. Patrick days was lit last night up in Florida, getting busy, people partying. But I was watching, you know, on, on every single screen, it was a tournament in the NBA. And I'm sticking to the NBA right now, talking about what's going on in the playoff race. It is a tough, tough angle for both sides, West and East. The level of competition has leveled out. Um, the athleticism factor, which used to be a case probably when I grew up, you know, 2000, 2001, Vince and Tracy, the new game where it's more Steph Curry-esque, puts a lot of teams on even kilter, and it's all about how can you shoot the ball. Shoot the ball, and also how hard do you want to play defense, because all these guys are capable. Now we get into the, the nuances of the damn NBA East Coast Conference and see what's really playing, who's really hitting. Let's talk about the Heat. They're still the top team. Everybody's worried about the Sixers. Everybody's worried about the Nets, who are barely in, by the way, and trying to get into the playoffs. This is a bad factor for a lot of teams to not realize that the Heat are the best team in the East, and they're probably the scariest team if they could, in my opinion, if they could add a big, like a Moses. So what's his name? There's a tall kid, 7'2", named Moses. I believe he got, just got waved. I think they need some height. But all around, they have all of the pieces. Oladipo, Butler, Hero is something. Hero is something, guys. And then your boy uh, Adebayo, who's an all-star. So you almost got three You got three all-stars on that team. Lo and behold, that's a little bit more than uh, uh, what I think the Sixers have to offer with the type of all-stars they have on the Heat, if Oladipo can get back in form, as well as the Nets. So don't be surprised about what the Heat do. The Bucks. They're just standard now, man. They're standard. They got their guys. They added a lot of pieces, a lot of little pieces. Uh, you know, Giannis, let's see what he can do. This is the non-fluke year. I believe last year was a fluke. I'll straight up say it. I don't believe the Bucks were champions last year. I believe it was a result of injuries. Now we get to see can Giannis truly get him to a championship without everyone being injured. 76ers, we know about the Harden addition. They're in a much better place than the Nets, okay? Third team in the East. Uh, they would match up against the Bulls, which would be a scary, excuse me, with the um, with the Cavaliers, which would be a tough go for them and a possible exit because of the length. We'll get to them in a second. Celtics slowly creeping up with the big duo. I said, why the hell would you want to trade the best duo in the NBA? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I'm going to say one of the top top duos in the NBA, and Jalen Brown and Mr. Jason Tatum. Why would you want to trade that? Look at where they're at. They'll do this every year. You need to add a point guard piece. Celtics in the playoffs. Bulls making it happen this year. Great year. Strong start. Looks like they're winding off here, bro. They're getting injured, but they're going to get Patrick Williams back. That's a big piece for them. Patrick Williams comes back, okay? He get into the G League, get into the action. What does he bring? Does he come out to be that fourth all-star? How, how do we got four? Wojciech, Levine, Dorenzen, can Patrick play like a fourth all-star? Big-time pickup right in the draft. Exciting athlete. Uh, can do the rebounding. I'm excited to see what Pat Williams brings. Great, great new addition. Watch out for the Bulls. Don't be surprised. Cavaliers loaded, but I think they should have got a guard. I don't know who they could have got. I wanted to try to get Terrence Ross. I put that in my comments. I said Terrence Ross would have been a great pickup for this team, so, you know, especially with the magic, the magic in the situation that they're in. Terrence Ross a little bit older. He's not part of the rebuild. He would have been a nice pickup. I'm just talking about small sleepers because they can't afford a lot. They can't afford to lose a lot. I thought that would have been a good pickup, but they weren't able to get him. Now it's Garland and the marketing and Mobley uh, and, and Mr. Uh, what's his name? The, 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 the Fro. Right, doing doing their thing, and they're gonna have to rely on that. Uh, I don't think it's enough offense, and that's gonna be their problem. Raptors, surprise team of the East, really busting ass right now, man. Let's be straight up. Hard work pays off. Look at the scary situation the Nets in for all the talk and all the good games that they play. There's gonna be a Kyrie. If Kyrie, I'm warning this. I'm warning the, the Nets. All right, I'm warning Brooklyn. New York is not very nice. <laughs> okay, I'm from Jersey. New York is not nice. It's hard nose. You don't you don't get an upfront in your face. I don't give it to you. White, black, Asian, Indian, whatever. Everyone gives it to you. All right. They're not gonna be shy. You know, you talk about rudeness or whatever. It's just the way the way it is. They're gonna be straight up. Kyrie, if Kyrie doesn't get to playing and they don't make the playoffs, there's gonna be a lot of hell to pay for Kyrie. They're gonna really give him a headache 
and so is Kevin Durant because he doesn't hold his tongue either. Even though they buddies, I can see him flip a little bit. He flips a little bit. So the Nets got to try to get in here. Uh, this is going to be the AC. I don't see how they make up into the seventh seed. The Raptors are playing so well right now. Uh, I I don't know how they do it. Thirty nine and thirty, I believe. What, but probably uh, uh, probably twelve games left. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Uh, the Nets needs to win out. Hornets are at their heels. So are the Hawks, who have slowly started to come back and try to get in a slot. Um, the Knicks are maybe out of contention. The Wizards. There's still a lot of teams because the East is so sorry. Probably from the Knicks up that have a small chance of getting in there. Okay. Uh, but the Nets really, really got to push the button here. I, I told every single team, busting out with these few old men does not help you. East Coast is tough, and this is why this is going to be probably the one to watch. 8 through 11, or even 8 through 12. Yes, the Knicks have an opportunity. There is a rush for that last slot. Uh, teams that have really surprised, obviously, to me, are the Celtics and the Raptors. Cavaliers, obviously, I said in the beginning of the year, if they got running, they could be special. I said that. Watch my videos, okay? Um, now we see it because they're able to, to have enough talent to, 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 to grow. They allow them to grow and get there. Can Sexton get back in there this year, okay? That'll be, I think Sexton's needed, you know? Uh, there needs to be another score for those teams. But the Knicks, Hawks, Hornets, Nets, Hornets certainly have the talent. And, and you know, you know they got, they got Rosier. You got your boy. I love Miles Bridges. So he was the top Bridges pick in that draft. Uh, um, you know, Lamelo has to come through. He st- Mr. Gordon Haywood has to come through. I mean, they, they got a lot of little pieces on the Hornets um, not even being utilized uh, that I think that can make them special. They shouldn't be in this situation, and 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 you could reverse the cat the the Cavs and the Hornets easily if if they were head on and did the right things right from a Hornets perspective. The Hawks. I don't know what's there. They're just a vet team that knows how to get to the playoffs. Trey Young, obviously, one of the top 10 talents in the NBA, and that's what's pushing them forward. Uh, the rest of the guys, Bonyana, Victor, too, are inconsistent. Don't really want them in the playoffs. Wizards don't want them either. Sorry. Uh, but, you know, they added Porzingis, and uh, they're making some noise. They're making some noise in the East. Uh, what great pickups from the Lakers. They certainly look to have the edge with what they did. Uh, with acquiring some of their pieces. And then we get into the Knicks, right? The Knicks, big time, East Coast, Knicks team, uh, underachieved, uh, have a lot of talent, had a lot of injuries. Kemba, Rose, I believe Kemba was shut down, but Rose uh, trying to get back in the fray. Uh, they're, they're missing that piece and they need it. Uh, I, I do think next year should be a better option for them. And I do think they should try to get into the draft. I don't want them in the playoffs. They're just going to be a first-round exit. So, for me, I'm good with the Knicks not making it. So, the Nets have a, have a tough role. They really need to hope that Cleveland or the Raptors fall off. And if I'm the Nets, there's no doubt about it, I would rather have Giannis versus Jimmy Butler and that Heat team. All right? I'd rather have Giannis in the Bucks versus the Heat team. Now, a lot of now, Bucks got a lot of things back, guys. Let's not let me get deeper so I can show you what's going on, y'all. Don't because y'all don't know about these boys. Middleton, Giannis, Drew, the top three. Now, look at the other piece. Brooke Lopez is back, okay. Um, and then you look at the rest, you go, Well, you know, Javon Carr's a good defensive player, they don't want the Nets to lose him. But look at the rest of the team, guys. Bremby's an ex that too. So you look at the rest of this team, you know, should it, Mama Javalidi is not ready yet, but he's a, he's a tremendous looking talent. Um, I, I'm not scared of this team. You know, if I look at this, you know, I'm not scared. They're a defensive hellhole, right? They'll kill you there. But if I'm the Nets, you know, this, this is who I want to go after. And I'll do anything in my power to try to get into that slot. Matter of fact, they better hope the Bucks start to win out games, okay? Uh, they better hope that. Now, the Heat versus the Raptors, that's interesting. Do the Raptors get there? Looks like they are. Looks like they are. What if the Hornets got there? That's a scary lineup. That's a scary... If, if, if the Nets Hornets get hot or Trey goes nuts, Trey Young goes nuts, I'm talking about 45, 50-point games, back to back to back. Those are the scariest teams to match up with. I would say they could ruin a lot of the top three, a lot of top three team splendor. Um, East Coast watch, baby. 
it's wars on the east, it's wars in Ukraine, Russia, but they got wars in the NBA too. Not on the same level, no disrespect, but it, it, it's popping, bro. Start to watch these games. Mikey, step back, signing off. I'm gone. Peace.